Oh, sorry, the music, uh-huh. Hi, well, at home we're a very musical family, but my father was a very musical man. And uh, he and take the, the festival in Lauren in 1929, that was the first year of the fiddling class, it was inaugurated that year. He won the first prize that year. But before that, I had a great interest in music, but the fiddle was just too large for me. I couldn't play in her, and you couldn't get a small fiddle then, you understand? Yes. And, uh, so see, I'll get you a dulcimer. So uh, there were two or three dulcimers in our country at that time, and uh, they got the father and a fairly good one. And then I had a brother, a carpenter, and Balamina, mm -hmm. and they asked him to make one. So see, all I need is a pattern. So the brother made this one that I have now, and that started me off. And the music. That is it for the dulcimer. For the dulcimer, yes. Yes, but. Now, there's another thing that's interesting to me, John. Where did this background of traditional music, which you have, come from? Could you tell me? Oh, that? yes, the background. Oh, well, there was an old man on the braid one, from the braid that's, well, it's between Glenorum and uh, Ballymena. It's near Grant's pub where this man left Mullandreen, they called the place. The man's name was James Elliot. And uh, he, as far as we can hear, he was educated for a clergyman, and whether he failed at college or whether he didn't like it, but he settled down on the braid. But we really don't know where he came from at the start. We're him and the wife there. And Ellet's style was different from anything you hear today. Ellet had a great style of fiddling, and it was that style that my father got. Well, when he came to the braid, he served his time then, my young man, he served his time for a tailor. And he finished his days down in Mullandreen. And it was her style of fiddling that uh, my father had. And Ellet, played at all the dancers around that country at that time. And uh, there were one night he said, to see, I had a laborious night's fiddling for one and one pence halfpenny. He got one and three halfpence for his night's fiddling at this dance. And that's the sort of... Man, was it, how long did it go on for probably the morning? Well, it went on from about 10 o'clock till about 7 in the morning. The dancers at that time lasted the whole night. There were no 2 o'clock stopping then. Oh, no 2 o'clock stopping then. You had to go on the whole night. What happened to Elliot eventually, John? Oh, well, he, uh, yes, he, he lived uh, the remainder of his life in the braid, as we call it, down in Mullandrine. And he died down there, and he was buried in Skerry. It's a burying ground just between Glenarm and Bollam, I mean, a halfway, about a mile and a half or that from Grant Spub, as I was telling you about there. It's so way up on a high top, too. He was buried there. And as far as I know, there were no mark till his grave. But what I intend doing, I intend seeing the uh, priest down in the braid and just find out where he is buried for a like to put a mark to his grave to know where he was buried but that's where, we get, our, that's where we get our music from mm -hmm. and uh, another thing about Ellet whenever he was shaking the bow at a reel there or a hornpipe or anything he gave it the up shake he didn't finish a wee down shake a wee chitter he gave it the up shake a good big bold shake something like what I play in the dulcimer and I'll have to play a hornpipe that Ellet played many a hundred times. Oh, Dwyer's horn pipe, they call it. Very good, John. So, would you like to hear it? Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> 